welcome back today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Logitech mouse for Zim Apex in the G Hub software in my case the G502 if this video helped you guys please leave a like subscribe very much appreciate it let's jump into the settings so in the G Hub software when you click on your mouse you're going to see three categories light sync assignments and sensitivity and assignments this is where you will set your buttons I have a pretty simple layout here this button is one this button is two the left tilt is three and the right tilt is four the top middle button is five now if you look here there's an arrow you can now customize the side buttons the thumb button is six and then we have forward and back now all of these buttons I have laid out here currently are working with Zim Apex so now I'm going to show you guys how to change these buttons. So if you click here, you actually can come over here to commands or keys. And you can select any of these buttons here and it will remap to that button. So zero, zero, or circle. I recommend using numbers. Set it back to one. One. So let's head over to the DPI. Now here in the DPI, you can actually set up to four or five uh, DPI selections. So I only use one DPI selection, the maximum. I have the pull rate at a thousand and then you hit assign to your mouse. Now after you do that, you want to make sure these settings are correctly loaded onto your onboard memory for your mouse. So when you use them Apex, you are using the right settings. So you want to go here in the right corner to the settings icon. In here you can turn on onboard memory mode. Now this is how you update the onboard memory. Now to update it, you just click here. Now under desktop, there should be the profile that you just edited. And if you click that same profile, three dots will pop up. That confirms that the settings are saved on board memory mode. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can create another profile. You want to turn that off. You want to go back to the home of the G Hub software. And at the top, you will see active profile. Now in here you can view the details of your current profile. So let's check it out. Now this is correct. Max DPI, max polling rate. You can also delete profiles here and change the name of your profile as well. Here I have another profile called PC for PC. You can also delete it. That pretty much covers all of the settings you will need to know about for Zim Apex. Now, if some of you may be wondering about the setting called calibration, for some newer Logitech mice, the setting calibration has been removed. The sensor actually automatically calibrates itself to your mouse pad. So, that's just something to note. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great holiday and see you on the next video.